have a request for some gnomes for Christmas. So as you notice, I'm making these out of a flower pot. I like to put them on a flower pot because then they can sit down over a post and they can be at different heights in your garden. And so they look pretty cute out there. Um, and so I'm using four inch flower pots. I got them at uh, the big box store down the road for just 99 cents, probably 96 cents. But I'm gonna take the stickers off and I'm going to form the hat over the top here. And so you the hat, the nose, the whiskers, so you can you can almost see it in your mind's eye right now. I can tell you. So I'm going to kind of get this cleaned up and then I'll show you how we get started. So I got the sticker off, there he is. And so now I've got about a yard of just regular old aluminum foil. You could use the uh, heavy duty, that's what I've got, just the store brand. Um, and it's a yard, look, because from the tip of my nose to the end of, that's how I measure a yard. Anyway, so all we're gonna do to form the hat is just crumple this up. It's just not even rocket science. And so what we're going to do is make the brim of this hat first. I like to do it. And imagining that that nose is going to sit right there. So we've got to make a space for the nose. And we've got the brim of the hat. So you can see that's what I've got going on here is the brim of the hat. Okay. Got the nose there. So I've got the hat coming down the back. So you can see that this is just um, a lot of aluminum foil. So that's the armature for what I'm going to do here with my little gnome guy. I'm gonna kind of flare out the brim a little bit. There we go. And then I'm gonna take another yard of aluminum foil. And we're gonna make this. Top of the hat. So what's fun about making these gnome hats is they can be any shape at all. You can't do it wrong. That's why I'm pretty good at this because no precision is needed. <laughs> so we're just gonna stick that right in there and get this hat just kind of shaped up the way we want it to look. Put a little, little curl on the end. It always makes it kind of fun. And there we go. Like so. And this is our hat. So we can go ahead and um, use a little tape on that to kind of hold it all together. You can use glue, some, some hot glue, whatever you want to kind of get it in shape there. And then we're going to start putting the cement on top of that. So let me get this all in one place and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got his hat all glued on. I just used some hot glue. I'm gonna show you. Um, this is um, blown insulation. It's the cellular cellulose, so it's just paper. Um, this is what I use to make my papercrete, so my, my cement clay and it works really, really well. It sets uh, just as hard as anything else, and it's lightweight and it's easy to use. So I wanted to show you what I use for that. I'm just going to put that over there. But what I've got here is a batch of this mixed up, and so it's ready to go. And I just take little, just little bits of it. And I wear gloves usually, um, not always, but you really should. This stuff is really hard on your hands. Um, so I like to wear, put on a little um, lotion and or even uh, cocoa butter is really the best and put that on my hands and then put on my gloves and it does help keep your hands a little moister and um, not get so dried out from the cement. So anyway, but I'm, and I wear a mask and, and gloves and, and eye protection when I'm mixing it up as well. Um, you, you really want to be careful with it, but anyway. I'm going to just now just smooth this over in just a thin layer across this little aluminum foil armature here and you can see how nicely it just smooths out and I want you to notice on this little guy just how smooth he is. 
that's what I enjoy about this. It, this clay, that um, this paper crete, if you will. Um, the, the texture when it's finished is just really, really nice. I use this for a lot of applications. Anyway, it doesn't take long. We're gonna get his little hat all finished up and then um, we will put on his little hair, his whiskers and his hair. And I put his nose on last. And uh, this is all gonna be put together uh, pretty quickly within the hour. It'll all be formed and ready to be able to dry and cure. And I'm hoping to be able, it'll be all set and dry. It's pretty cool out, so it might take it till the weekend. Um, so I can get this painted up. I need to make three, so I think <laughs> I think they look best in settings of three. Uh, one little lonely gnome. That's a little sad. So I'm going to work on this and get it to where I can show you what it looks like before it's painted. I just put a little more uh, cement in here to make it a little more stiff for this nose. I want to get the nose ready. Maybe a little smaller. We'll set that there for a minute. And we're going to work on this hair, get his whiskers and his hair all on. So I've got some water mixed with some glue over here and I'm going to kind of saturate this flower pot with it. That will help the cement stick a little bit better to the flower pot. Let me make sure my stays on. There we go. Part, the cleanup when we're all done. Of course, I don't like cleaning up after myself doing anything, so but it's got to be done. Anyway, so Play tools I got at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. I'm gonna add some texture to this beard now. I'm gonna sit here in my workshop area on the shelf until he's completely set and dry and then I will paint him and I love the the vibrance I don't just have to use red I like any colors gnomes can have any colors on them at all so. There he is. What do you think? <gasps> All right.